Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these cool banners and uh, yeah, these little buttons on the side here as well. Uh, these can be used in videos. You can see I have my Twitter and my Snapchat. I think it's in the top, that, top either that way or that way, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's inverted or not. But um, yeah, so you can see it in my videos. You can see them in uh, Twitch descriptions. Like in the below the stream, you can have you have those banners. You see these there. And um, yeah, you can also put these in Twitter headers and stuff. Like these little buttons, they'll look cool. And uh, yeah, so... Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these and uh, yeah so let's get into it so for the start we're going to do we're going to make a new layer just by like that and uh, actually no we're not <laughs> we, don't need to, we don't need new layers because we're going to be using our shapes tool and um, with shapes they create a new layer for you and yeah so um, you could use a rectangle tool I suppose you could really use any of these but I'm going to be using the rounded uh, rectangle tool that's be just because of what I used in um, for these so first off I'm going to show you how to make these buttons kind of stuff uh, so yeah, um, you want to start off by just clicking and dragging out. Make sure that you hold Shift and Alt, and that means that you will keep your aspect ratio, and um, it will also open from the center. Because if you don't hold Shift, then you can do this, and you don't. Well, you can do that, I suppose. Uh, if you want to change, if you want it to be like a rectangle, and then uh, if you if you don't hold Alt, it'll go from the, the corner. So make sure you hold Shift and Alt, and there you go. You can make a perfect square, just like that. Uh, you want to get rid of your stroke, I don't know why, but um, orange is always a, de uh, a default for my stroke, I don't know why, I don't, I don't really want it there to be honest, but yeah, it's there. And um, Okay, so we got our first, we got our first rectangle, now what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that layer, we're going to go to gradient, and this is where we're going to pick the colour. I, For my examples I've got a grayscale one and a coloured one, just to show you that they um, it kind of looks cool either way, but um, I might go for a blue one, just to say like follow me on Twitter or whatever. So um, we're going to go for a dark blue right here, uh, it's probably a bit too dark actually, okay and then we'll go for a lighter blue right here, I'm probably going to have to land up changing that first colour, uh, it's not too bad, yeah we'll, we'll, change, we'll just change it a little, okay that's cool. So we kind of got the, the colours of the Twitter uh, of their logo pretty much and um, yeah so now we've got that, that, uh, that our first square done. You want to duplicate that square and then click on your bottom square and then just drag it down a little and uh, this is going to be this little section down here just to add a bit more depth to the button and uh, yeah so once we drag that down a little that's good and uh, now we're going to duplicate that rectangle and actually no don't don't duplicate that one duplicate the top rectangle just like that and then click on the bottom one that you just duplicated and then double click I mean double click on it no oh, not that uh, double click on it, you have to try and get it behind, don't click on the text otherwise it will just rename it and then you want to add a drop shadow and now you can see we've got this cool drop shadow coming down and uh, you can mess around with your your settings, I, you could just follow, uh, use my settings if you like but um, yeah if you if you use the different dimensions then your settings will be different but uh, yeah this makes it look like, like an actual button if you look at it in a certain way it makes it look like a really cool button and uh, yeah you want to make sure that this drop shadow is a clipping mask of um, of the uh, the bottom rectangle which is right here and now once you do that you'll see that the drop shadow disappears so what you want to do is with the bottom drop shadow I mean with the bottom rectangle just right click on it and go to rasterize layer uh, actually no rasterize layer style sorry and there you go you can see that the the button has now reappeared I mean the drop shadow has now reappeared and it looks really cool it should be clean at the moment uh, you could leave it like that or you could add a texture as you can see I've added a texture to these ones but um, yeah you could I'm gonna use my texture pack that I uploaded quite a while ago I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to go download that but uh, you just want to click and drag inwards just like that uh, put it to your top layer and then make a clippy mask by holding alt and clicking on the bottom of the layer and then uh, you're gonna have to rasterize this layer style as well so just right click on this on the, the top rectangle and go rasterize layer style now you can see the texture on it and then when you click on the texture go to the blending mode and change it to overlay and then we can just lower the opacity and there we go we've got a really cool texture on it and uh, now we want to include these uh, uh, these our social media icons and for that I've got uh, all my wait hold on first we need to make a new layer for the social media icon so just click on the icon on the bottom right and um, for my social media icons I've got them all set up as brushes if you want to know how to set them up as, as brushes, I've got a tutorial for that as well. 
and that will also be in the description. So this one's going to be for Twitter. So we're just going to get our icon. We can use our square bracket keys to resize the brush, just like that. And you want to get it to the center of the icon and then uh, just click once, make sure it's white, make sure your foreground color is white and then once you click it will come out white and then change the, the icon to, I mean the social media icon to overlay. And there we go, you can see it brings the color of the button and of the uh, and of the texture in front of the icon, uh, I mean of the social media and it looks really cool. And we could also lower the opacity if we wanted to as well. And if you wanted to develop the idea even further, we can double click on the social media, go to drop shadow and then we can just mess around with the drop shadow as well and that could look pretty cool as well but uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it without for this one because we're kind of going for that clean effect and uh, yeah so now we've done our button well it isn't actually complete yet now we want to add this kind of glow around the outside so to do that this is a technique I've, I've used before and I've mentioned uh, where I got it I got it from Sesso he's, a, he's another youtuber I'm sure you guys have heard of him and uh, yeah so to to get this white outline all you need to do is press uh, command on your keyboard and then click on the thumbnail of your top rectangle just like that then um, you want to make a new layer and put it to the very top then go to filter uh, no not not filter select modify border and then change it to two or one it doesn't really matter uh, I'm gonna try one I think one will look quite good and make sure white is our foreground color then we can press alt and, and backspace and that, that will fill the selection with our foreground color and now you can see we've got this white outline. Now we're going to change that white outline to overlay. And there we go. You can see we've got this cool glow going around the outside. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. So um, now we've done that, I'm going to now going to show you how to do these banners. It is pretty much the same process. And uh, yeah, so let's just do that real quick. So we can just group that and just do Twitter. Uh, we'll do Twitter button. Okay, so now we've got our Twitter button there. And uh, now we're going to make a one for the banner. So um, what you're going to do is we're going to go to our rounded rectangle tool again, just like that. And uh, we're just going to do our rectangle. We're going to go through this one a lot faster just because we're kind of just going over it. Change again. <laughs> we've got this what, orange uh, stroke for no reason whatsoever. And then um, uh, it doesn't, the color doesn't really matter just because we're going to be adding a gradient anyway. So go to gradient and if you're doing this banner directly after doing the button your gradient should already save and uh, yeah and that should all be good so um, yeah so now we've done that we just want to duplicate that one and then drag the bottom one lower just like that so you don't want to do it too much you can just use the arrow keys to be a bit more precise and then we're going to duplicate the one that uh, we, then we're going to duplicate the top one and then add the drop shadow so just double click on it go to drop shadow just like that we can increase it a little okay and then I'm actually gonna move this the bottom one up a little okay that's good and then we're gonna rasterize the bottom rectangle by rasterize layer style and then um, we can actually make a clipping mask to, so the drop shadow is only on the bottom layer and uh, yeah so now we've done that we're going to do the glow around the outside or you can do the texture I, I suppose we'll just do it in the same order as we did before so we're gonna add, we're gonna add the texture now uh, let's just drag it in just like that Make sure it's landscape, just so it fits nicely. Drag that over, then go to overlay. There we go, and then we're gonna lower the opacity, and then we're gonna make it a clippy mask of our top one after we rasterize the layer style. Yep, okay, that's good. Oh, no, we don't wanna change the opacity of our rectangle, we wanna change the opacity of the texture. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna make a new layer for the glow around the outside. So just press command and then the thumbnail and then go to select, modify, border. And uh, because it's a rectangle, I'll probably do two. And then, and then just press alt backspace to make the white fill, then change it to overlay. And there we go, we've got this, um, we got this basically the same as the button, but as a rectangle. And now we're gonna add the text. So I'd put um, follow me on Twitter. And then we'll put Baz Dizelen, just like that. And then if you want to make uh, the your Twitter name bigger than the the rest of the text, just select your Twitter name, just enlarge it just by dragging it out like that. And now you can see that they kind of overlap, and we don't really want that. So what you're going to do now is you can press Command T, and then you'll have this window pop up, and then you just want to drag this, click on the icon, and just drag it to the right or to the left, 
and then you can change the spacing between the two. And then, uh, yeah, so now we've done that, we can just hold command and just drag out the, the letters just to make them all bigger. And then um, we can use our move tool, just like that. And then, uh, yeah, we can even set the text to overlay. That'll look quite cool. And, um, and yeah, so that's basically how you do the banner. And then uh, finally, we would add the social media, just like that, and then set that to overlay as well. So yeah, that's how you do these banners and icons. They look pretty cool. I think I'm going to start using them a bit more just because, uh, yeah, they do look really clean. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope hopefully you'll be able to learn from this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.